relations have been thawing recently between Iran and the United States after nuclear negotiators met in Geneva earlier this month. But the rapprochement is far from universally applauded at home in the Islamic Republic. Hardliners have set up posters across Iran's capital to show another message. An American negotiator in combat fatigues aiming a gun at Iranian negotiators from under the table. Anti-American posters and billboards posted across Tehran's highways demonstrate the depth of mistrust of the U.S. by conservatives who are opposed to President Hassan Rouhani's reaching out to the West. Our people have seen nothing but dishonesty, deception of public opinion, betrayal and backstabbing by the Americans in recent years, ever since the Americans took control over the country in 1953. Therefore, they can in no way trust American promises and deceiving smiles. The American Honesty anti-American billboard campaign is the latest offensive by hardliners who have already questioned the secrecy of nuclear negotiations with the West and who fear Iranian negotiators could concede too much with little in return. Hamid Reza Shokouhi, a journalist at the pro-reform Mardom Salari newspaper, says given the 35 years of state-sponsored propaganda against the United States, the recent change of government has not affected the opinion of Iran's supreme leader or that of the many Iranians who follow his example. The Islamic Republic establishment has been insisting on opposing the U.S. for 35 years. Although a new government has taken office, major policies are decided by someone superior to the government. Therefore, public opinion cannot easily digest that everything has suddenly changed and Iran now wants to establish relations with the U.S. It simply doesn't seem normal to some people. So it is normal that expressions of protests take place. But this is systematic. To tell the people that not not everything has suddenly changed and not everybody supports establishing ties with the U.S. But the authorities in Tehran have ordered the anti-U.S. billboards be removed in a move which should bring a close to the latest chapter of the running conflict between Iran's moderates and hardliners on how to deal with Washington.